How's everybody doing? We're live here and I just want to show you guys again. These are some of the finished and unfinished paintings that I've put up during all this time. Now I'm going to get out of here real quick because I don't want YouTube to pick up any of the music that was playing back there. But hey Teresa how's everybody doing hey Carol we're gonna have some fun today hopefully or maybe we just won't those are the options we either are gonna have fun today or we're not gonna have fun today so I figured out mathematically algorithmically scientifically that we have options, lots of options, and the options all fall down like Plinko into two categories. One is we have fun today, and two is we do not. Fun, no fun. Fun, no fun. And they kind of cancel each other out. They can't exist simultaneously. So we have to pick which one. Hi, Yuli. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Annie. Everybody gets a hi today because I'm looking at the screen. So unusual. So anyway, here's the fun. Um, we're used to doing a lot of jewelry, a lot of handmade um, jewelry. This is, this is the um, soup. But today we're going to do totally different, totally different Aruba. Um, we are going to do non-jewelry art. See that? I did the sign language for non-jewelry art. Okay. So this is what I need you guys to do. I don't know how many of you are artists i'm assuming most of you are artistically inclined or at the very least appreciative but i think most of you probably are artsy or crafty um hi still wet um so this is what i'm going to say as most people who join this channel um seem to lean towards the jewelry side of crafting thank you um, we're going to switch it up today and we're going to do non jewelry art. So let me get a notebook here and this is what we're going to do. You have two options today. If you take this challenge, you take this, do you accept this challenge even before hearing the terms? Are you brave enough? Do you accept Annie, Carol, Yuli, and uh, Lori and Julie and Cherry and Tawny and Mark Anthony and Pamela and Carol and Monarch and Jenny and Shanika and uh, everyone else. Do you accept the challenge? Michelle and Lincoln. Debbie, I need to know, do you accept this challenge? Are you willing to take a leap of faith into the unknown before I tell you what the terms are? Are you ready? Are you ready? Sherry is ready. Carol is ready. Monarch is ready. Tawny is ready. Okay, here it goes. You have now you've chosen fun. You've chosen not not have fun, so you've chosen fun. Under fun, there are two choices. You may pick one or the other. You may do both, but I'm going to say pick one or the other. Here are your two choices. Ready? Mm -hmm. 
your two choices are number one post a piece of non jewelry art into the Facebook group if you're not part of the Facebook group if you have a Facebook account go to the search bar usually looks like this a little magnifying glass type in the search bar Matt's crazy art group you have to put the word group or you will get my page you don't want my page now both the page and the group have a painting on them the page has this abstract colorful bright art thingy the group has a blue guitar also abstract painting this is the one you want you want the blue guitar that's the group 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 you have to join if you're not there you have to ask to join i have to accept your asking i don't know how to make it easy where you can just join automatically i have to accept every single one but you join right now and i will accept it as soon as i get off this live feed then i want you to make something tonight make some new art you have 24 hours to post it to the art group post a photo of your art don't be shy it does not have to be amazing it can be i'm going to show you what i'm going to i'm going to post this this is what i'm going to post just to show you it does not have to be the most spectacular thing ever even though this is pretty close i'm posting melvin and that's going to be up i'm posting him on the art group as soon as i get off of this feed so you can doodle. These are your options. You can doodle, paint, make a Play-Doh sculpture. Anything else, but it has to be within the next 24 hours because I'm gonna look at them all. And it can be easy. You can you can um, cut up pieces of napkin and dip them in watercolors and arrange them and make a napkin painted design on a piece of paper like that and submit it. It can be anything. I don't care. You can do Melvin too. People will people. You won't get as much thumbs up if you're just doing the same thing, but. If that's what you want to do, you can do Melvin. You can do like a more creative Melvin with more colors and more whimsical, surreal stuff going on. But you could, I don't care what you do. Just post something. Post something. That is, you said you'd take the challenge. Now I'm holding you to this. Make some kind of art, non-jewelry, because a lot of you already are good at jewelry and that's too easy. Non-jewelry art. This is the challenge today, non-jewelry art. Okay? Now, you have one other option, but it's harder. You can take the second option if you don't want to do the first. But the second option is much more difficult. You don't have to. Take the easy one. Hi, Sandy. Sandy, if you take the challenge... We're all going to post a piece of non-jewelry art to the Facebook group today. And it could just be a simple doodle or a watercolor or some Play-Doh sculpture. We're going to do it in the next 24 hours. We're going to post a photo of our art to the Facebook group. And you have to... I already lost some people because they're not doing this challenge. You can take... 30 seconds. This is what I'm posting. This is how high I set the bar. I'm posting this right here that you're looking at. That's my creation. I'm posting it. You can post something more outrageously phenomenal or something simple. It can be anything. You could take your Pop-Tart and break it up into pieces and arrange them on the plate so it looks like a beautiful 
sunset. Or it looks like a man getting his mail from the mailbox. Don't care. As long as it's your creation, you do it in 24 hours or even in the next half hour, and you post a photo of it to the art group, okay? So that's your first choice. Your second choice is harder. If you want to do the harder one, it's going to require you um, to purchase a couple things that you unless you already have them. And I don't want you to purchase anything unless you want to. But this is just for fun. If you want to do number two, number two is a little harder. But I don't want I don't want you to go out of your way if you're busy. Do number one. Number one is easy. But here's number two. You ready? You ready for number two? You have to go to Facebook and search Matt's Crazy Art Group. You have to put all this in there, even the word group. And you have to find the picture of the blue guitar and join the group. Then you can post it. Okay. Now. There's another option you can do, but this is harder. It's going to take you a few days, and it's going to cost a little bit of money, probably. So I'm not telling you you have to do the second one. Second one is just if you are if you find it fun. Okay, good. Mark Anthony, good, good, good. Everybody, just do the first one. But if you want, I'm going to tell you about the second option. Anybody want to hear about the second option? Yep, look for the blue the blue guitar. Anyone want to hear about the second option? Monarch wants to hear about the second option. Sandy wants to hear about the second option. Julie already saw a peek at it because I, I flashed it a couple times by accident and she was per perceptive. Persistently perceptive. I ran out of spoons, so I'm eating soup with a fork. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Here's option two. Option two is here. Are you ready? Here it goes. Get a blank t shirt. Or a blank baseball cap. Please don't spend a lot of money. As cheap as you possibly can. And make a design on it with some with some uh, fabric paint or with some spray paint or whatever you want. Make a design on it for me and I'll wear it on the next live show. So, um, and I, I wear... Um, Extra large, if it's a t-shirt, I don't know what size baseball cap, but get a cheap one. I like black, but you can send me any one you want, and I will wear it for one live show. Um, and you can design it. You can have the name of the channel on it. You can have Melvin on it. Something you think that I would like to wear for a live show. Um... But you can design it any way you want. It could be like, it could just be an abstract thing. Um, you know, maybe you like to do tie dye. I mean, don't, don't work too hard. And again, this is optional. You don't have to do this. It's just something fun if you wanted to do it. But this is, I want everyone who said they're going to, to at least do number one. Number one is the big one.
as long as the t-shirt is as long as it does design is family friendly obviously so this is these are your options fun times fun 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 times okay everybody got it all right I want I want all of you to tell me what you're gonna do unless you want to think about it you can think about it but I want to tell it I want you to tell me are you gonna do play-doh play-doh sculpture are you gonna doodle with markers do you have watercolors around are you gonna run to the dollar store and get some watercolor paints and just make a tree with a little Sun in the corner oh if you are going to actually do the t-shirt then you have to then you have to go to the other Matt's crazy art which is Facebook this I actually have a link for I don't have a link for the group I don't know what it is Facebook.com slash Macraz Art. You can see what I did there. Macraz Art. But Facebook.com slash Macraz Art. All one word. That will send you to the Facebook page, not the group. Once you get to the page, don't post anything. That's where I post stuff. Message me. Message me at the page. Message me. And say hi, and I will give you an address to send the t-shirt to. I'm not going to put the address on the internet, so I'll give you the address there. Um, but that don't do that unless you actually have a t-shirt ready to send. Like, if you literally have a t-shirt ready to send. In fact, I'm going to say, send me a photo of what you have to send. T-shirt or baseball cap. If you have the photo that you finished it, you finished the art and everything, and you're ready to send it, then message me, and I'll give you an address. Because then I will, I will know you're serious and ready to go. But I don't want you to spend money, so don't do that unless you really, really, really want to. That's awesome. Painting on rocks is the best idea ever, Wendy. Thank you. All right, let's do that now. Let's brainstorm. Who can think of some art that you could make in 24 hours that's pretty easy that I didn't mention? Or just tell me what you're going to do. Tell me what you're going to doodle, watercolor paint, Play-Doh sculpture. You know you can make Play-Doh. You don't need to buy it. You can make Play-Doh with just some um, all-purpose flour, some salt, some water. I think maybe one other ingredient. You can Google it. It's real easy. And it's actually food safe. So if like one of your little ones gets it in their mouth. It'll taste really kind of icky, but it won't be bad for them. Wow, that sounds exciting. All right, Sandy Paul. I'm going to be checking the Facebook group tonight. Let's see who, who can get theirs up first. You can even label it. You can even label it non-jewelry art challenge. You hear that? Non-jewelry art challenge. You can put that in the label when you post it to the Facebook group. Non-jewelry art challenge. Now, if you do decide you want to do a whole t-shirt, you don't have to do it in 24 hours. It might take you some time to actually get to the store, order one off the internet, and um, yeah, you can do an electronic photo. You can, yeah, you can do, <coughs> you could do computer art. You could do, um, <coughs> excuse me, you can do um, Photoshop art. Totally fine. Oh, wow. Somebody already got theirs up there. Still wet. Good job. Um, as long as it's not jewelry and as long as you get it up in 24 hours, um, 
that's for the Facebook post. If you want to do the harder challenge and make a t-shirt, there's not a time limit. Take your time. I want you to find the most affordable t-shirt you can. Again, if you want me to wear it, try to find extra large. That's what I wear best. If you only have a large or an extra extra large, um, then I'll probably wear it anyway if you go to all the trouble to send it to me. But it won't fit quite the same. So that could be interesting. Um, you can absolutely do both. Absolutely. Walmart. Good job, Cherry. Walmart sounds great. I bet you can get them for three or four bucks. And then you can, you can use regular acrylic paint on a t-shirt. It will work. You can use fabric paint. You can use um, spray paint. You can use regular household spray paint on a shirt. Make sure it's well ventilated when you use it, but um, all those things work. Don't use washable paint. Don't use kids' tempera, because that will wash out, obviously. Don't use watercolor, because most watercolor, at least made for kids, will wash out. Yep, Dollar Tree has Dollar Tree has acrylic paint now. They have little tubes, which is a pretty good deal. And I will wear as long as I don't get inundated. No, you know what? I'm going to say however many t-shirts are sent to me, I'm going to wear each one for a whole live show. So, and I will thank you personally. So if you send if if a hundred people send me a shirt, that'll be a hundred live shows. Okay, anybody else have any creative ideas to add for everybody? Any creative thoughts? What's some more stuff? Um. Yeah, I definitely won't wear it on the show, <laughs> Angie. You could do that. But, uh, yeah. Nope, screen printing is totally fine. Absolutely. Totally. I just, I don't want you to go through too much. Uh, I just don't want you to spend too much money. I don't, you know, if, however you want to do it. You can do whatever you want. Just know. Yes, Angie, I will not wear that on the show. <laughs> Correct. I will not wear those on the show. You may send them if you want. I don't know. I can't promise you I will wear them, but I will wear a t-shirt or a baseball cap. You could totally glue macaroni on it. That would make me super happy. Anything that's unusual the more the more creative the better this is getting more fun who has more ideas oh brianna that's super that's absolutely super oh lee lee that sounds great That's a great ornaments. That is a super idea for, for the, the piece of art to post on the Facebook group. Uh, get some pipe cleaners, make an ornament. That's a super great idea. All right, Sandy Paul, you have to type in Matt's crazy art group. You have to look, or maybe look under the sections of groups. You're probably not putting the word group in. Yeah, if you can make if you can make a shirt that lights up either battery powered or or whatever that would be amazing I do have an outlet here though if need be
Um, yeah, I'll, poetry will work, sure. Write, write a poet, but, but it can't be, I don't want the poet, I don't want the poem written into the text of the post. I want you to handwrite the poem and take a photo of it and upload the photo. Oh, good question. Would a beaded ornament be considered jewelry? Yeah, let's say stay away from wire-wrapped beaded stuff. That's the only rule. We're staying away from wire wrapping. We're staying away from beading. So anything that you normally use to make jewelry, do use. I want you to expand and try a different medium. I mean, if there is a little bit of wire, if there's a little bit of wire mixed in, that's fine. If there's a little bit of beads mixed in, that's fine. But don't use the same exact um, patterns and the same exact style that you would use to make jewelry. Uh, Lily, you want to, I would tell people again, you want to go to Facebook and type in Matt's Crazy Art Group into the search bar. Matt's Crazy Art Group. You have to put the word group and look for a blue guitar painting and, and click on it and then hit, you have to click to ask permission. As soon as I get off the show, I'm going to grant you permission to join the group. Ooh, a paper box for your granddaughter for beads. That's excellent idea. Excellent idea. Gift boxes out of cards. That's an excellent idea. I love it. That's a super idea. I wouldn't have even thought of that. Wonderful. Um, Sandy Paul, um, I don't know. Keep looking. Get, get, um, get some small child that's good at the internet to help small children always know how to do the internet get like a niece or a or a a grandchild or a, a something yes if it has a join button hit join and then i have to accept your your joining and i will as soon as i get off this live show okay Hello, Janelle. So, all right, Sandy Paul, did you find the group? Melissa, that's a great idea. <laughs> um, just find something that says Matt's crazy, crazy art and, and just click on it and hopefully if it has an abstract painting that looks like a whole bunch of streaks of light that's not the right place that's the page Well, Sandy Paul, post it on the page then. Post post it on the regular page and I'll find your post and I'll I'll send you a link. Oh, Kelly, that's super.
Oh, thank you, Cherry. Okay, that is your assignment. I'm gonna get off soon. I'm gonna go start looking for the posts if anybody was really fast to post them already, but I'm gonna keep looking from now till tomorrow evening. Very nice, very nice, Jen. Thank you, Kelly. In other news, I made new kits. Let me show you guys. This one is for kids. This is kids stone, bone, wood, and acrylic kit. There's over 40 possible stretch bracelets. You get, it's a double kit. You get all this, even the little alphabet beads. And that's for kids or people who are kids at heart. But I'm going to put a lot of stretch cord in there. So uh, this is not on the Etsy shop yet. I'm going to finish it tomorrow. This one is uh, another eclectic kit. It just has a, a ton of fun stuff and it's not set up right. I have the stones all piled on top of each other so you can't see everything. But that's gonna be up tomorrow morning. And then I have an all natural earth stone kit where there's really no dyed stones, no glass. It's almost all natural stones natural crystals and again they're all piled on top of each other i'll spread them out in the photo so you can see better but um those are going up tomorrow um and there's still a lot of these necklaces um a still a lot of necklaces on the etsy site that you guys can get every time you buy a necklace it helps me to pay for the pottery studio i ordered today Finally, because I got the electric hooked up right, I ordered a kiln, a wheel, like a potter's wheel, a slab roller, which is an entire table with this huge contraption where you put giant piles of clay and crank it, and it makes thin sheets of clay. And um, I ordered a ton of clay, some tools, all kinds of stuff. So every time you buy a necklace, it goes to help pay for that. Um, the necklaces I put up are half half what I would normally sell during this holiday season. I don't, I'm probably not going to open this store. I'm just going to be giving it to you guys online. So if you see, um, if you want to go to the Etsy site and see if there's anything you want to get for friends or family, um, I'm going, I have underglaze and I'm mostly going to use clear glaze because I decorate the pieces. I decorate most of my pottery with underglaze, which is like paint that withstands the kiln. And then I just glaze clear over it. So here is, um, the Etsy site. All one word, no spaces, no apostrophe. 
And if you go there now, I have tons and tons and tons of necklaces up for half price with really high-end stones, a lot of which were donated by Baxter Monkey. Really, really high-end stones with antique copper, vintage bronze, and silver. But um, everybody do the challenge today, whether you go to Etsy or not. Make sure you do the challenge today. And um, this is this is Campbell's creamy chicken noodle, and I added a packet of hot sauce and a few heaping tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, powdered Parmesan cheese. Mix it all up super, super good. That's what I do to almost all soups. I add a packet of hot sauce and several heaping tablespoons of Parmesan sprinkle cheese. Janelle, the challenge is you have to make one non-jewelry piece of art in the next 24 hours. A simple one. It could be a doodle. It could be watercolor. It could be Play-Doh sculpture. It could be a little sculpture made out of pipe cleaners. And you have to post a photo to the Matt's Crazy Art uh, Facebook group. I, am, I like to cook. I am not a big, big... I don't like cooking that takes hours and hours, but I like to make a dish here or there. If I have all the ingredients especially. And Janelle, if you want more details, you can watch from the beginning of, you can start the, the whole live show over and watch from the beginning. I go into a lot of details, but that's pretty much it, what I told you just now. I would not I would not like to do a cooking tutorial there's just too many people out there who are much 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 better at it oh Wendy wonderful wonderful um I would host a cooking tutorial if somebody else wanted to give it Um, 
I thought about, wouldn't it be fun? I thought it would be fun to go around the country or around the world and visit people and see people that are struggling um, to do art as a profession. They're like just getting off the ground and they're trying to sign up for stuff and make pieces and and they're really struggling and they need some help. And they go visit them and like spend a week with them and help them develop, help them make better displays, help them have better ideas, help them get into better shows and learn how to do it better. The only problem with that It'd be like coaching, like art coaching. Hey, James. The only problem with that is most artists are already like not very, uh, not very well, like high end. They're kind of starving, or or they're just barely getting by. So um, they they wouldn't. I I wouldn't be able to take a week off to just help them for free, and they probably wouldn't be able to afford to fly me out there and 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 everything but someday when I have more um, financial abundance that would be fun to do but if anybody did did want to pay for the flight and the hotel and the or, or find a room for me to curl up in the corner for a week and feed me that would be a fun thing to do Oh, Minnesota in the winter sounds wonderful. No, I would not want to do Zoom. I would definitely uh, want to be in person. I'd want to touch their art. I'd want to, I would want to manipulate, show them how to change it. I would want to look at their displays up close. I'd want to manipulate those. I'd want to give them better ideas on stuff. I definitely want to make it into videos too. I would want to bring a camera person and or at least set up a camera. I know Sandy Paul, that's I I think a lot of people are like that. It'd be really fun if, if they if they could afford it, it'd be super fun. Now if they if they could afford it, they probably don't need to do craft sales. <laughs> They're probably already fine and they don't need help. So there's that's the conundrum. Um, Kelly, we're doing a non-jewelry piece of art in the next 24 hours and posting it to the Facebook group. If you are in the Facebook group, do it. If you're not in the Facebook group, um, people will tell you how to get there. Yeah, I can help you with electronics and marketing a little bit. Wonderful. I, I would say that pricing, I would say the same thing I always say. Um, hi, Melina. Pricing, pricing is an art.
Racing is just trial and error. It's all trial and error. It's swimming. Matt, give me the algorithm so I can swim. Give me the math problem so when I jump in the ocean, I will know the ratio of how to move my arms and legs and instantly swim. Does not work that way. You have to jump into the water. I uh, probably want to start with some safety things, some people nearby, some shallow water, some flotation devices, and then you want to slowly practice getting up above the water, treading water, holding yourself up, and then eventually you figure it out. There is no equation, there is no answer, there is no written statement that will help you swim. The same as goes for pricing. Pricing, you just, you just go to a show and you price your stuff. And if it sells too quickly and it all sells out, then you price it for higher. If nobody buys anything, you price it for lower. If you're worried that you don't want to waste one whole show figuring it out, ask 10 people, what would you pay for this? And some people, you got to take that with a grain of salt because some people say, oh, you're my friend. I would totally pay $25 for that when they really wouldn't. And then be like, oh, I'll sell you one for $25. Oh, oh, no, that's not my style. But I would pay $25. No, don't listen, don't listen to that. But it's still good to ask them. Ask a whole bunch of people. And then get the average of what everybody tells you. And then lower it five bucks because they're probably half of them are probably exaggerating to make you feel good. Or go to a craft sale and see what everybody else is pricing their stuff for. And then go around and find out how, how they're doing. Because if you find out 10 people are pricing their stuff at, a, at an amount that seems a little high for you, and then you come back and then you realize they're not making very many sales, maybe that isn't a good price. But you'll still get perspective that way. Yes, I remember you, Heavenly Birds. Oh, I'm not going to post clay stuff for at least two weeks. Unfortunately, the kiln is going to take two weeks to get here. It might take less, but the person I ordered it from said it could take up to two weeks. The clay should get here in about three days, and then I'll start making stuff. So maybe I could post stuff earlier that isn't fully fired yet. Hello, Coco. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be something you've never done. It just has to be non-jewelry. So for those people who just came in, this is the challenge we're doing today. Um, the challenge is... Oh. Number one, go to Matt's Crazy Art Group, post a piece of non-jewelry art. It can be a doodle, a watercolor, a Play-Doh sculpture, a pipe cleaner sculpture, anything you want. But in the next 24 hours, take a photo and post it on the Facebook group. That's the challenge. Um, and it doesn't have to be fantastic. This is what I'm going to post right here, this doodle right here. That's it. And I had a good idea. Maybe I'll make a video. You know, doodle paint, Play-Doh sculpture. Take some pieces of napkin. 
go to the dollar store, get dollar store paint, dollar store uh, uh, watercolor, kids watercolor. Cut out pieces of napkin into different triangles and squares and geometric shapes. Wet the paint, dip, dip the pieces of napkin in the watercolor and then lay them on top of each other on a piece of paper or a canvas like that overlapping so the colors overlap. I think that would be super fun. But you don't have to do that, you can do anything. That's the first part of the challenge, number one. Actually, that's the only part of the challenge you have to do. I'm requiring you, if you're watching this live show, I need you to tell me you're gonna do this challenge. Now here's a second part you don't have to, but this is, if you want to, if anybody wants to buy a t-shirt and decorate it and send it to me, I'll wear it on a live show. That's just for fun, you don't have to do that. But go to Walmart, if you get a $3 shirt, I prefer black, I, pref I wear extra large, but something in that range, if you only find large or, or um, if you only find extra, extra large or if whatever, and you can use fabric paint, you can use acrylic paint, you can use spray paint, design the t-shirt, you can put my logo on it, you could put Melvin, you could just make fancy designs, you can tie-dye, whatever you want to do. It doesn't have to be black, whatever you want, but then you want to go to this particular site and message me once you have a finished t-shirt and I will give you mailing address and then I will wear your t-shirt on a live show or it could be a baseball cap if you'd rather do baseball cap but please don't spend too much money on that and you don't have to do that that's just the optional number one you have to do everybody watching this show is required to do this unless you're terrified and you're about to cry then I might let you opt out is that clear? Everybody clear? All clear? Oh, I just find supplies all over the ground. I go supplies hunting. Sometimes I go walking down the street or in the woods and I just pick up supplies. Uh, the rules of the Facebook group are just don't post anything for sale. The Facebook group is for fun, to show your art to the world. So the only, the only um, rule I have in the Facebook group is don't use it to post your art for sale or anything for sale. It's not for selling. So every once in a while, I'll get some person who is just a stone dealer and they come into the group just to try to sell their stones and I have to ask them to leave. I tried being nice the first few times and just be like, you can stay, but you know, just don't post anything for sale. And they would argue with me. They'd be like, well, what if I just kind of post something for sale? Well, what if I, oh, and then they beg, please, please. And finally I was like, okay. I can't be, I'm being too nice, too much drama. So now the second someone starts posting a bunch of stones for sale, I just have to, uh, I just have to kick them out. Um, Coco Boo, let's see, how could you do it? If you don't have Facebook, um, well, you can just do it. You can just do it on your own and take a photo and we'll figure it out somehow. If you don't have a Facebook account, then yeah, I don't know how else to do it. Then that's the only way I know how to do is with a Facebook account. If anybody has any other ideas of an alternate way, I'd, I'm be open to listening. There you go, Baxter Monkey. That was simple. Find a friend who has a Facebook account to do it. You could do Instagram. Um, um, I'm not sure how that works. I don't even know how Instagram works that well. Yeah, Matt's Crazy Art on Instagram. I think it's an at symbol, not the hashtag. Dexter Monkey is teaching us about this thing 
where people are connected to other people and they mutually use each other's services for goodwill. It's a new thing. Create a new friend. I should do that. Oh, Reina. Okay, that'll work. Oh, good. Annette, good job. Okay, Miranda, that sounds good. Yes, make friends with young people. That sounds wonderful. Mark Twain said, when I was 14, I was absolutely shocked at how little my parents knew about the world. And then when I became 21, I was equally shocked that my parents had learned so much in such a short time. Oh, are people doing Black Friday ahead of time, James? That's a good idea. Yes, Raina, you may post more than one. Or you could also put several photos in one post. Mark Twain also said, He who picks up a cat by the tail will learn something he cannot learn in any other way. Mark Twain also said, it ain't that there are too many idiots on earth. It's just that the lightning ain't distributed right. Wow, $40. Mark Twain also said, now remember, this is in the 1800s. He said, in the beginning, God created imbeciles. That was for practice. Then he made school boards. Baxter Monkey, please tell us. Lori, I, I, I have not made one of those up yet. They're all authentic quotes. You can look them up. I'll quote Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill said, all men are worms, but I am a glowworm.
No, I, I always touch my face because I'm itchy. Um, I taught a little bit of everything from kindergarten to sixth. Winston Churchill has a lot of great quotes. So does Mark Twain. You can look them up. You don't even need a forensic test. You can just Google everything I said. <laughs> Dexter Monkey, I had not heard that. No, we haven't had any snow yet. Oh, Sandy, I, 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 uh, that sounds good. I wonder if you would still like it today. Um, I, I used to, I used to have tons and tons and tons of Mark Twain and Winston Churchill quotes. Um, I'll have to look them up. I used to collect them. I used to, um, copy them and put them into folders. Um, I still remember because it's a story the I told this story before on a live show you guys are gonna hear it again um, Winston Churchill was visiting a prominent Midwestern family somewhere in the US for dinner and he said to the hostess ma'am could you please pass me the chicken breast and the hostess said oh, my goodness, we don't speak in such terms here in this polite society. And Mr. Churchill said, oh, I am sorry. What did I say? And she said, we say white meat. May I, may, can you please pass the white meat? And he said, oh, I did not know. And then he returned back to England Several weeks later, a package arrived for the same um, prominent lady. She opened the box, pulled the string off, and opened it up. And inside was a beautiful flowered pin, like a brooch, I guess you call it, with a note attached. My dear, whatever her name was, please pin this to your white meat. Yeah, 12 to 13 year olds are definitely interesting. Melina, no, it's not a problem at all. Belong to the Facebook group. Um, the only rule in the Facebook group is don't Put your stuff up for sale in the actual group in a in a post because a lot most of the people in the group sell jewelry and if it turned into a selling page it would just be constantly people posting stuff and this it's more it's more just a page for people to show what they're working on and how they're doing and encourage each other so it's not a selling page so that's the only reason um but you can still ask questions about selling you can talk about selling you can talk about how your shows went you can talk about how you price things um, as long as you're not actively trying to sell to other members of the group in in the actual posts <laughs> Lori <laughs> Oh. 
When young Winston was 22, he was in uh, World War I, he left his unit, just walked off, and went to join a different unit because they had better alcohol. Later on, his unit was captured, held as POWs. He managed to escape, traveled hundreds of miles back to his home base, gathered together up a bunch more soldiers, traveled all the way back to the POW camp, took over the camp, and freed the rest of his fellow unit. Uh, I think I started doing wire work about 10 years ago. It's too bad I haven't learned much since then, but... Yeah, isn't that interesting, Rose? People don't know all these stories. Yes, Bexter Monkey, I agree. <laughs> James would have just ended the whole war right there if it were him. Uh, yes, I started in ceramics, which is funny, I'm going full circle. I started in ceramics and then I saw someone making jewelry in my ceramic studio. So then I was making ceramic jewelry, which is basically rolling out really thin clay, cutting out little teeny tiny leaf and circle shapes, glazing them real pretty and then attaching them to earring hooks and leather cords and stuff. And so I was making ceramic jewelry. Everybody loved it. It was a big hit, but just the stuff was so fragile, it kept breaking because especially earrings, I had to make lightweight. So the only way to make them lightweight was to make them super thin. So if you imagine super thin clay and melted glass, every time you drop it to the tabletop, it would shatter. So then I went to my wood shop and I started making wood jewelry and that was really popular too and it was much more durable. But then I started at all these shows I was going to, I started to meet wire wrappers everywhere. And I resisted for a long time. I did not want to wire wrap. I said, that's not real art. Real art is forming things and manipulating material. This wire wrapping stuff is, that's engineering. That's like, that's, um, that's like, I might as well assemble a, a doorknob like that's just following steps to put things together that were already made you're not actually making something new so i resisted and resisted and resisted and finally i had two apprentices one year i had two in college interns helping me in my in my studio and we're making tons and tons of wood jewelry and, and i wanted to they were with me all summer long and i wanted to um give them a gift at the end of the summer so I said to them, what's one thing each of you would like to learn, one medium that you never learned that I don't teach, something you would like to learn in art? And there was, it was a guy and a girl, college kids. The guy said, I would like to learn wood carving, like actual with knives, chisels. And I said, okay. And the girl said, I would like to learn wire, wire uh, wrapping. And I said, okay. So I hired a guy who did wood carving to come to our studio and teach like a three hour workshop. And the three of us all learned about the basics of wood carving, really cool stuff. And we all made some like wooden spoons and stuff after that. And then I hired a wire wrapping guy to come to the studio to teach the wire wrapping lesson. And we all took partook of that. And at the end of that lesson, I was like, this is easy. This is like, this is really, really easy to make a lot of stuff like this is way less time consuming than all this wood carving I was doing. I mean, I had a wood shop, but I was like, had power tools and carving and painting and staining all these little pieces. I was like, Oh my God, wire wrapping is so much faster. So that was kind of the end of that.
next thing I know, I was doing a little bit of wire wrapping with the wood and then a little more and then a little more. And then I realized it sold like 10 times faster than my wood stuff. Terrible, terrible that people don't have taste to know that the wood stuff was the superior art. But pretty much I, I gave into it. Um, yeah, you can, yeah, if your clay, when you say reconstitute, if it's just dried out and hard, you can. It is very difficult. I'd, I'd say it's less trouble to just buy more clay. Uh, to reconstitute completely hard, dried out clay that's like a brick, you have to put it on like a pretty heavy table that you're not afraid it's going to make tons of dust. It's going to make a mess wherever you put it. Maybe do it outside. And you have to take a hammer and you have to break it up and 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 break it up until it's you get it back to powder or at least teeny tiny chunks. Then you have to put it in a container and add water until you turn it into mud. You get it totally consistent mud. And you have to take the mud and spread it out on like a, a board of plaster until all the water evaporates or gets absorbed and it turns back into clay. It's like a three day process and it's a lot of work. And I, like I said, it's easier to spend 25 bucks and just buy another 20 pound bag of clay than it is to go through all that trouble. But if you want to, people do it all the time. Yes, I have a video on polymer clay. Um, I have a, maybe a couple videos. I have at least one. I did polymer clay. Actually, I did polymer clay earrings for almost a whole year. All I did was make all kinds of marbled clay. Um, make little. I made little circles and leaf shapes again. The polymer clay. I actually did. I did polymer clay forever and ever and ever until I realized how brittle that was, and then I gave up on that because I realized they were like cookies. You could snap them in half. No, the, the, all the clay stuff nature's nerd is coming. Okay, if you, I've never heard of using a food processor. I guess I, I guess that makes sense. I plan to go back to sculpting. I can't wait. Super excited. Ugh, yeah, you could do a cheese grater. It would ruin your cheese grater. I mean, clay is like very, very fine sand. So that would totally dull your cheese grater really fast. Oh yeah, um, uh, slip molds. Did you do slip molds, James? Oh, for polymer clay. This is polymer clay. Baxter Monkey swears there's a way to refire polymer clay the right way and fire it several times, or I don't know if they call fire it, bake it. 
and it and it yeah and becomes very strong. But um, I have I have not experienced that. Rose, what you could do, what I did for a while, was I made clay pendants, little clay pendants, and glazed them, and then wire wrapped them with a regular clay, not polymer clay. <laughs> Brenda, I, I eat very... I don't eat that much. I just, I eat on camera a lot because people like to see me eat. I, I believe, I tell myself. I also rarely sit. I'm almost always standing and walking around all day, every day. Yeah, James really gets into the technical side of different arts. Yeah, glazing can be really fun when you, uh, when you learn how to mix different layers and different amounts of the different colors. I used to play around with underglaze you can't see under glaze if you put a thick glaze over it, but if you use clear, you can see it. So I would put under glaze and then clear, but then I would add regular glaze in different areas. So some parts of it you would see the glaze, and other parts you would see through the glaze to the under glaze. And that was a little trickier, but I got some cool effects on some pieces. Even when I talk on the phone or like something where I could be sitting, I'm usually pacing. If they made cars that you could stand up, I would I would be standing the whole time. So once again, I'm going to say good night to everybody. Um, don't forget, all the kits are gone. I'm going to be putting up new kits tomorrow morning, but there are still a ton of necklaces left. So go see if you can get some. Every time you buy a necklace, it helps us to pay for this pottery studio and more clay and more glaze and more video stuff to make more videos. But thanks for hanging out. And thank you, everybody. Sorry, anybody, if I didn't get to your questions or I missed your comment. Um, uh, here's where you want to go, Priscilla, to get the kit. But there's none up right now. There'll be some up tomorrow morning. But write this down or screenshot it. It's all one word. I just put the spaces so you know how to type it. But it's all one word, no spaces. It's not two lines. It's all one line. Good night, good night, good night. See all of you hopefully tomorrow. Take care, be, be safe. Don't forget to work on your art project and post it in the group. You have 24 hours. See you soon.